It was six years ago. It was just coincidental. I was driving with the agricultural engineer friend of mine, and uh, he told me about those products. And we met Murat Chetin and Haluk of SPN Agro, which is your main distributor in Adana, Turkey, which is uh, south central Turkey on the Mediterranean coast. And uh, we started using your products on my new plantation of citrus, miovas, and tangerines, plus my uh, mature real red grapefruits. I tried it on for like a couple of years, like two or three years, I think, three years. Then I completely switched to it, to your products. Came into contact with you guys, and we came to Phoenix the same year. Met Lyndon and, you know, people from your company, and looked around your factory and your products. So, we liked it, we're happy with it. I mainly use like Super Phos for my phosphorus and Super K for my potassium. Plus I use a lot of uh, spraying products, like foliar products, such as, like one of the products that I really love is Pentabor, the one that has bore in it. Especially on grapefruit, it does the wonders. Because, you know, grapefruit is very sensitive to boron deficiency. And when you just apply like one liter per ton of water, 1,000 liters of water on Pentabor, it works magically. It does it right away. Plus, I'm happy with the quality. As a matter of fact, most of my, our products, they go to Europe and Ukraine and Russia for export. And at the guys, the exporters who buy my products, my tangerines, which I have lemon, grapefruit, mandarins, and oranges, and also have pomegranates, they're happy with it. They like the quality, they like the skin quality, they like the color, they like the texture, and they tell me that my quality has improved a lot in the last five, six years. So, which shows me it is working. I use a Z-Max, the one that is zinc, we use the pentabor, which is the boron, and uh, we use uh, many other stuff such as they have these hormones they called uh, ghost. I think it's specifically made for turkey, and you know Murat and Haluk asked for those, and we're happy with those. That's what we mainly use, and we use some other stuff. And white oil, and white oil. I like white oil a lot. I also use breakout a lot. I use breakout a lot in my citrus especially. Well, when they are like like in a corn, when they are like about a knee high, you know, that's that's when I start using white oil. It gives it a lot of vigor and a, a lot of energy. You, I mean, you see it on the crop. Breakout, I use mo mostly on my citrus and my pomegranate. It does help a lot before a uh, flower set before flowers so it does help a lot especially if you have a, like a cold winter where we use a lot of sometimes we have a frost where I live once in a while especially after this frost when we use breakout we do get a lot of shoot and leaf breakout that's the name breakout we had a bad frost it went one it went down to minus seven degrees Celsius which is very, very bad for lemon, especially. Not grapefruit, not tangerines maybe, but lemon, interdonato lemons that I have. And uh, I lost a lot of my leaves in the upper part of the tree. It was just bare, it was like an apple tree during the winter time. And I did go with the breakout. The usual rate for breakout is two liters per 1,000 liters of water. But instead I went for 3.5 liters per 1,000 liter. Uh, per 1,000 liter and sprayed it twice and it was incredible it just it just break out it just break out and it's funny enough I had a flower set afterwards and I had crops as a matter of fact right before I came here this week last year we got them harvested and they are exported to Russia it was incredible to see those fruits up there usually you don't after a frost you lose a lot of you lose your like 15 20 percent of your crops up there microcarbon technology they don't mm -hmm. they don't tell us what it is i'm mean, exactly but i mean some microcarbon technology it works like before i started using these products i'll give you an example let's say on my citrus i would usually use 250 kilograms per hectare of monoammonium phosphate 
and you have to you know make it soluble and all this and that and put it through my drip irrigation system instead of 250 kilograms per hectare now i go for 30 liters per hectare so it's also much easier to use too and you don't have any clogging problems you don't have any problems with your drippers your filters and and it takes a lot lot less space which is good also the same goes with potassium solid pot and um, i used to use a like a 350 kilograms of uh, solid potassium which is potassium sulfate in waste and uh, now i just go for 35 liters per hectare so it does help it does help a lot so you don't tie up a lot of space plus you get a better quality and your yields are nice so what else can you ask for I'm happy with it. And it does say something very important too, I must add, add that up. On the average, last year it saved me 18% on my total fertilizer costs. I am in the, I'm the second president of the Farmers Union in Adana. Adana is the main agricultural region in Turkey. It's all flat as it can be a table. It's all fully irrigated Mediterranean coast. And a, a lot of people, after I used, started using those products, those guys who bought my stuff, the exporters, the fruit exporters, they started sip, spitting, say, look, Bülent's crops have a very good quality. So a lot of people came and asked me, they said, what's your secret? What's your secret? I said, I don't have any secret. The secret is right there, you know. I start using those, why don't you use this? But like this guy, he has 100 hectares of uh, the lemons he said okay i'm gonna try it on health of it and he had very nice results and this year he came up and he says he's fully switching to humagro products so just keep on the good quality